Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and I know fans have been upset with Rockstar recently, especially over the last couple of days because of the massive ban wave that has actually happened, but we can't forget about the event week that is going on as well. Players seem to have a bunch of issues with the current event, and we're going to be talking about some of those issues in this video today, as well as some of the things that I'm a little bit frustrated with as well. So let's begin with something that Rockstar was supposed to actually give out this week, but it looks like they kind of forgot about it, which is definitely a little bit strange. So on last week's Newswire, Rockstar promised that if you did any of the six Galaxy Super Yacht missions, a Super Yacht Life, Overboard, Salvage, All Hands, Icebreaker, Bon Voyage, and D-Day, that you would end up getting a free t-shirt, the six-figure T. Well, it looks like just about no one has received this. So either Rockstar forgot, they have completely dropped the ball, or this is a glitch altogether. Because when players have started asking for this, they started getting alert messages or they got responses from Rockstar support that said this. Thank you for contacting Rockstar Support. We understand your concern regarding the free six-figure T in GTA Online, and we would like to apologize for the inconvenience this has caused. We would like to request you stay tuned to the Rockstar Newswire for more information regarding this concern. Once again, we would like to apologize to you for the inconvenience this has caused. Please feel free to get back to us if you have any other issues or concerns, and we will be happy to look into them. So basically, they were like, we acknowledge your problem, you should stay tuned for something. We acknowledge your problem again. If you have any other issues, contact us. So basically, that was a big nothing sandwich from Rockstar Support. So I don't know if it's just taking a couple of days for this t-shirt to arrive. It seems like this would have been a no-brainer from Rockstar. If the game recognizes that you played one of the missions, it just goes ahead and gives you one of the t-shirts or gives you the t-shirt that you were supposed to unlock the six-figure T. So that altogether is very strange, the fact that we haven't received this. Maybe there was a glitch with the T-shirt that Rockstar ended up giving away this week, which was the Viper's Den or Vapor's Den T. So maybe there was some issue with unlocking two T-shirts in one week. I don't know. It, it seems like that wouldn't be a problem, but I, I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Rockstar. And even asking Rockstar gets you some dumb responses like that. So that's the first thing that players were upset about, including myself, because I was looking to get that rare and exclusive t-shirt. Another thing that players are upset with is the Podium Vehicle, the Progen PR4. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Progen PR4, and it fits the theme of the event week, which is mostly all about new open wheel races and getting triple money in RP. But the problem that players have with this is this is a vehicle that Rockstar has already had on the Podium. There are so many vehicles that Rockstar have not featured, and they just decide to keep using old cars. And that is where I think people are a little bit upset with this situation, especially considering the current podium list uh, is featuring these three vehicles. It's the Penumbra FF, the Itali GTB, and the Coquette D10. Two of those cars are brand new, the Coquette and the Penumbra FF, and the Itali GTB has never been featured before. So I don't know why Rockstar are going out of their way to not feature the new cars. It's like the event weeks are already kind of lackluster because there's not any new vehicles that we're getting every week. So I don't know why Rockstar is just trying to discourage players from jumping on even more by putting out their old event vehicles. It just seems really, really bizarre. And that's one of the things that I picked up on as well. I was like, yeah, I get that it fits the theme of the week, but... Why wouldn't they put one of the new Formula One cars, like the Benefactor BR8 or something like that, or the Class A DR1? That would have been amazing, like super cool. Why put one of the old open wheel vehicles that A, players have either already won or B, likely already have? So that was one thing that was a little bit frustrating about this event week altogether. Another thing that was frustrating about this event week is it looks like Rockstar reused a lot of the discounts from last week. So some people might find this as a good thing. Some people might find this as sort of a weird thing. So last week, there were some discounts like the Torero, the Sylvestra, the Sterling GT, the Mamba, the Z-Type. Those were discounted last week. And for whatever reason, Rockstar just continued to make them discounted this week, even though they didn't mention a single thing about it on the Newswire. 
which again is a little bit weird because if you look at the discounts and bonuses this week, there's actually not a ton. Like, in fact, there's only four vehicles that are actually on discount. So it looks like the rest just carried over from last week. So again, it seems pretty strange. I don't know what Rockstar was ultimately thinking here as far as carrying over those discounts. It just is a very bizarre week, that's for sure. Rockstar making some interesting changes as far as the discounts, bonuses, and sales go. Now, we also heard from a couple of individuals on Twitter, but mainly they can all be summarized by this one pretty good response by a user, The Strange Man, who ended up saying, not going to lie, the game is quite stale right now. The recent DLC's content was fresh and fun for only about 48 hours. After that, I realized I'll have to deal with old content again to make millions back that I spent. Red Dead Online is so much more enjoyable for me, of course. So that last part is obviously an opinion. Um, some people might like Red Dead Online more. Some people might like GTA Online more. But I think that first part is super true. Like, once you end up playing the six missions uh, on the Galaxy Super Yacht, like, there's really no reason to do them again once you've gone through the really story. Uh, the money is not all that great. The unlocks and the rewards, not all that great. Once you find all 10 of Solomon Richards' movie props, I mean, you obviously can't do that again. You've completed the reward. There's only so many times you can do the new adversary modes and the new business battles. Once you've done them once, you've kind of experienced them. So yeah, it only really took about 48 hours to get through all the new content before you're like, oh, this isn't all that exciting anymore. And yeah, even Rockstar now is offering a opportunity with old content that's going to be utilized next week. And that's a perfect segue to the next thing that has players frustrated is they don't want to have to pick and choose between special cargo cell missions and biker business cell missions. And I guess you could say this is people being greedy, that they want both of them next week to be double money and RP instead of only having to choose one. And honestly, I originally saw this as a good thing, but apparently a lot of players see this as a bad thing because they have to basically battle their own peers and the rest of the community just to figure out what sort of double money and RP opportunity they're going to have next. And we talked about that in a previous video, but still, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Which one do you think is going to be double money and RP next week? Special cargo cell missions or the biker business cell missions? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. And the only other thing that had players kind of fussy was the Prime Gaming stuff, but I don't know how many of you guys have that. It's very strange. They've been trying to give away this nightclub property for free. At this point in time, the nightclubs are like two years old, so who doesn't have one at this point? And the discounts are really weird, too. They both feature around the Mammoth Avenger. So basically, none of the Twitch Prime stuff this month like I can take advantage of. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably won't be able to take advantage of it either because I don't even think you can sell your Avenger. So it's not like you could sell the one that you have right now, make that money back, and then purchase one for 70% off. So it doesn't work like a normal car or vehicle, which does make it a little bit more frustrating. So that is what players were ultimately upset with during this current event week in Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that players were upset with. I mean, if you just go on Rockstar social media and you look at the replies to all the event week, there's like a giant list of things that players don't want to have in the game. And really quickly, I saw this pretty creative example of something that players might be fussy about and ultimately wishing for, and that is like a recall of the Oppressor Mark II. That would be hysterical if one of the websites ended up turning into something like this, where they just said like, no, no more Oppressor Mark IIs were done. Like, what would they do with the Oppressor Mark IIs that already were in the game? Uh, would they keep them? Would they remove them? Would they give you your money back? It's kind of interesting to think about, but that is what players ultimately were frustrated with with the current event. Like I said, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this event and more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.